Okay girls, so today we will see the notes that we already copied for last week. Okay, so this is the chapter for chapter 1, rational number. So all the template that we use for our notes is called by the Cornell method. Okay, so we got the line here. So here is put some of the main point. Okay, here is our key point. Okay, so now for our first point is uh, integer. Okay, so what is integer? Integer only involve what number? Okay, so here integer only involve our whole number. So you can write your answer at here. Okay, next, I already put the integer into the mind map. So here is our zero. Here is what number? And here is another number. So can you give me your answer? Yes, so here is our positive number and here is our negative number. So in the bottom, I need some examples here. Okay, so remember for our positive number, either with positive sign or without any sign. So your example here, you can put like positive 1, okay, 2, and then we got some more like 10. Okay, with the sign or without the sign. So the negative numbers here is with the negative sign. Okay, so you can put here negative 3, any numbers that you like, girls. If you already put the examples, but your example is not like my example, so is you check the symbol. So if your symbol is correct, so your example will be correct lah. Okay, so here, what are the things I need you to put here, girls? Okay, so we already know that our integer only involves the whole number. So I need you to give me some example of the integer, fraction, and also the decimal. Like for example, our integer will start at 0, okay, 1, 2, and so on. Okay. How about our fraction? Fraction, we can like 1 over 2, okay, 1 over 3, or 4 over 5, okay. Our decimal can be 2.1, okay, uh, 1.3 or 0 0.2, okay. Any numbers that you want, okay, but the shape or the structure of the number should be correct regarding the concept that I asked. If I need the integer, you cannot give me the fraction or the decimal. Okay, girls. So this is the some part of our notes. Let's uh, continue to the second part. Okay, so now look at our second part. Our second part is some of the situation that can represent by using the positive and the negative number, which means we so-called as a real life integer okay so here i only give you one example because some of the example teacher already discussed in the video so here actually is a leaf okay you can see i got the ground floor upper we got the first floor and second floor then bottom we got the lower ground floor so you are here at the ground floor so now we look at the situation and then we put in our correct answer a leaf is going what okay two floor is written as what answer okay so now my leaf is going up okay so now a leaf is going up so two floor going up two floor so we can write either is positive two or we can write it as a two okay if i got the leaf that is going to the lower ground floor which means going down okay so one floor we can write as negative one so girls the girl, the leaf say up and down is very common when we go to the shopping center isn't it although now we got a pandemic we cannot move to the shopping center as usual but we when we press the button they will mention like going up going down okay so actually all these are the real life integer that happen in our situation 
Okay, now we want to state some of the words which represent the positive integer and the negative integer. So girls, I already give you some example when I discussed or in last week video, isn't it? Okay, we got the positive integer like the word up. We got the negative integer like the word down. So what are the other things that you know? Okay, so maybe we can put it in the opposite way. So one is up, one is down. So you can put it like number three. We got something like more. Okay, so here number four, we got something like less. Okay, here number five, maybe we got increase, girl. Okay, meningkat. So here number six, maybe we can say is decrease. Okay, anything else? Okay, number seven here, maybe I can say uh, high. Okay, so here maybe you can say low. Okay, continue like above and then also like down. Okay, so all these are the sentences that we can... Uh, we, all these are the sentences that we can see when we read the uh, situation. So when you have all these words inside your sentence, you can know the situation either is moved to the positive or the integer or the negative integer. Okay, so now please complete your work and then snap, upload to the Google Classroom. Okay, thank you.